the value of e and i for the circuit shown in the figure r we are required to find out the value of voltage e and the value of current i flowing in this branch and i will give you two different methods to solve this problem in the first method in method number one we will use the current divider rule we know what is current divider rule and if you don't know what is current divider rule you will get the link of the lecture in the description here you can see that 4 ohm resistor and 1 ohm resistor are in parallel and it is given in the question that 2 amperes current is flowing through 4 ohm resistor now let's say current I1 is the current entering the parallel combination of 4 ohm and 1 ohm resistors therefore i1 is the total current entering the combination and we know from the current divider rule the current through 4 ohm resistor which is 2 amperes will be equal to the total current which is i1 multiplied to the other resistance value which is 1 ohm we are multiplying by 1 ohm because we are calculating the current through 4 ohms resistor therefore with respect to 4 ohms 1 ohm is the other resistor then we will divide by the sum of two resistance values 4 plus 1 when you solve it you will get i1 equal to 2 multiplied to 5 so finally we have calculated i1 it is equal to 10 amperes so now we know the current through 1 ohm resistor it is equal to 10 amperes the next step is to simplify the network and i will simplify it by having a single resistor in place of these Two resistors so the first thing I will do is to copy the given network and then we will make all the required changes I will remove the two resistors we are having in parallel and I will have a single resistor in place of them and we know when we have the parallel combination of two resistors the equivalent resistance is equal to the value of first resistor which is 4 ohms multiplied to the value of second resistor which is 1 ohm divided by the sum of two resistance values so from here we are getting 4 over 5 ohms as the value of this resistor now you can notice this 1 ohm resistor and this 4 over 5 ohm resistor are in series therefore we can add their values and have a single resistor in place of them so this is one more change i am making here we will have a new resistance which is equal to 1 plus 4 over 5 this is equal to 9 over 5 ohms now when you again focus on the arrangement you will find 6 ohms resistor is in parallel with 9 by 5 ohms resistor so again current division will take place and this time the total current entering the combination is i and we know i1 is the current through 9 by 5 ohms resistor and it is equal to 10 amperes so it is clear that we can calculate i if we write down the current divider rule to calculate i1 it is equal to the total current entering the combination which is i multiplied to the other resistance which is 6 ohms divided by the sum of resistances 6 plus 9 by 5 when you solve it you will get i equal to 13 amperes 
here i1 is equal to 10 amperes solve it and you will get i equal to 13 amperes so this is our answer we have calculated one parameter out of two required we have calculated the current i it is equal to 13 amperes now we will focus on calculation of the voltage e and for this i will apply kvl in the outer loop so applying the kvl we will have plus e plus e then we have minus i multiplied to 1 minus i multiplied to 1 after this we have minus i1 multiplied to 9 over 5 minus i1 multiplied to 9 over 5 and then we will move back to our source therefore we will equate with 0 and we have calculated the values of i and i1 so let's put their values in our equation we will have e minus i is equal to 13 amperes so 13 multiplied to 1 will give us 13 minus i1 multiplied to 9 over 5 i1 is equal to 10 amperes multiplied to 9 over 5 so from here we are getting 18 when you finally simplify it you will get e is equal to 31 volts this is our answer so in this way we have calculated the two parameters required the voltage which is 31 volts and the current which is 13 amperes and now we will move on to our method number two and in method number two we will use nodal analysis to solve this problem and we know in nodal analysis the first thing is to find out the number of principal nodes and here in this case we have one two and three principal nodes all these points here will have the same potential they are equipotential points and therefore they will act as a single node and it will be node number three and in step number two we will assign the node voltages and choose the reference node we choose the bottom node as the reference node and therefore we will connect it to the ground because the reference node should have the zero potential and let's say at node 1 the potential is v1 at node 2 the potential is v2 and now we will write down the KCL equation for node number 1 so at node number 1 we will write down the KCL equation and we know while writing down the KCL equation for node 1 we assume the node voltage of the first node to be the largest and therefore all the currents will leave the node 1 let's say this current is current i1 this current is current i2 and this current here is current i3 so according to kcl i1 plus i2 plus i3 must be equal to zero now when you focus on current i1 you will find it is equal to v1 minus e divided by 1 this point will have the potential e because this point is having the potential 0 volt and the potential difference is equal to e and we know the potential difference is equal to the high potential minus the low potential the high potential point is this point and the low potential point is this point we want to find out the potential at the high potential point and we know the potential at the low potential point is zero so from here we are getting high potential points potential equal to e therefore this point is having the potential e we have discussed all these points in detail in the previous lectures 
and now I will write down current I1 it is equal to V1 minus E divided by 1 then we will write down current I2 current I2 is equal to V1 minus 0 divided by 6 then we will write down current I3 it is equal to V1 minus V2 divided by 1 V1 minus V2 divided by 1 equal to 0 when you simplify this you will have 13 divided by 6 V1 minus V2 minus E equal to 0 let's say this is equation number 1 and now we will write down the KCL equation at node number 2 and for this we will assume the potential V2 to be the largest and therefore all the currents will leave the node 2 let's say this current is current I1 prime this current is current I2 prime and this current is current I3 prime so according to KCL we will have I1 prime plus I2 prime plus I3 prime equal to 0 current I1 prime is equal to V2 minus V1 divided by 1 V2 minus V1 divided by 1 plus current I2 prime is equal to 2 amperes there is no need to calculate it it is equal to 2 amperes plus current I3 prime is equal to V2 minus 0 divided by 1 V2 minus 0 divided by 1 equal to 0 when you simplify this you will get minus V1 plus twice of V2 equal to minus 2 this is equation number 2 and also we can see that V2 minus 0 divided by 4 will be equal to 2 amperes because current I2 prime is equal to 2 amperes and I2 prime is equal to V2 minus 0 divided by 4 from here we can calculate voltage V2 V2 will be equal to 8 volts and now we will put V2 equal to 8 volts here and we will calculate voltage V1 minus V1 plus 2 multiplied to 8 equal to minus 2 from here we will get voltage V1 equal to plus 18 volts so we have V1 we have V2 and when we put their values in equation number 1 we will have E so put their values in equation number 1 and you will find voltage E is equal to 31 volts and when you look at the network you will find I1 is equal to minus I and I1 is equal to V1 minus E divided by 1 so we have current I equal to minus I1 and I1 is equal to V1 minus E divided by 1 put V1 equal to 18 E equal to 31 and you will find current I is equal to 13 amperes so we have obtained the same values following the method number 2 as well so this is all for this problem and now we will move on to the homework problem and the homework problem is taken from ESE 2006 electrical engineering objective paper and here we need to find out the voltage across 5 ohm resistor this resistor and the voltage we want to find out is V1 minus V2 so once you have your answer post it in comment section and this problem will require the knowledge to solve the two variable simultaneous equations using the calculator so I will make one separate video 
in which I will explain how you can solve the two or three variable equations using the calculator. You will find the link in the description and the problem we have just solved is taken from gate 1997 electrical engineering paper.